In many competitive exams like GMAT, GRE, GCE, then S, A, T, SSC, and so on, you will often find that they ask number system questions like these. But most students either skip these questions or waste time solving them with long steps, because of which they end up losing easy marks. So, here's a super quick three-second trick to crack these types of questions. Question number one, root seven inside, which there is root seven inside, which there is another root seven, and this continues till infinity. So the answer to such a question is simply the number which is placed inside the root, that is seven in this case, as this type of product gives back the same number. So the answer to this question is seven. Let this whole number be x. Since the same thing repeats, we can write x equals root of seven times x. Now, squaring both sides, we get x squared equals seven times x. Cancel x from both sides to get x equals seven. Great, but now what if instead of going to infinity, we have this product given a limited number of times and not infinite? Like in this next question, you can see that we have this root five inside the root of five given six times and not infinite times. So in such a case, here is the trick. Write two and then whatever number of times it is repeating, like six in this case, raise it to the power of two, like two raised to six. This gives us 64. Then write a fraction in which the denominator will be this 64, and in numerator, write 64 minus one or 63. So this fraction becomes 63 over 64. Now the answer will be this five, which is inside the root, and that raised to this 63 over 64. That's it. See, it was that simple. Let us look at another example. Suppose we have this root eight inside the root of eight given four times and not infinite times. So first write two raised to four because it is repeating four times, which will be 16, and thus the fraction will be 15 over 16. So the answer is eight raised to 15 over 16. And that's it, we are on fire. Let me know in the comments what will be the value of this. Okay, now let us see the next pattern. We have square root of 12 plus. Inside this we have square root of 12 plus, square root of 12 and so on till infinity. You can see, unlike the previous problem, there is a plus sign here. So what to do now? Okay, here's the trick. Look at this number 12. Now what we have to do is we have to factor this 12 in such a way that the difference between the factors is one. Like we can break this 12 as two times six and we can also factor it as three times four. But here the difference between the factors is four and not one, so reject it. Here the difference between the factors is one and hence we will use it. Now because we have a plus sign here, so the answer is simply this bigger number, which is four. Wow, that was super duper easy. Let us try it for this question. Here you can see, we can break six as two times three, right? And the difference between the factors, two and three is simply one. So our answer is this bigger factor or three, because we have a plus sign here. That was faster than the superhero flash. Okay, now let us see what happens in case of the negative sign. So in that case, it's very easy. Just take the small factor instead of the big one, like here, the factors were three and four with a difference of one. So the answer is three. Similarly, if we take this example of six and we have minus sign instead of plus, since the factors are two and three with a difference of one, we take two as our answer. And that's it. Great. But now you might be wondering, hey, what if we have five or three or eight or any other number inside this square root instead of six or 12, which cannot be broken into the factors with a difference of one? What to do in such a case? Don't worry, we have covered that as well for you. First, 
Always try to find the answer using the factor method we just discussed. But if we cannot find the factor, like in this case, where we have 5 inside the root with a plus sign, then we will use the following formula. Take any number a and multiply it with 4. Then add 1 to it. Then put this entire thing inside the square root. Next add 1 to this whole thing. And finally divide it by 2. For those interested in seeing how we arrived at this formula, pause the video and look at this solution. Now instead of a, you must put the number that we have inside this root, like 5 in this case. So we get the square root of 4 times 5 plus 1 plus 1 over 2. This will be the square root of 21 plus 1 over 2. And that's it. This is our final answer. So, if you have 8 instead of 5, put 8 in place of A to get the square root of 33 plus 1 over 2. Awesome! Finally, we will look at the case where we have a minus sign instead of plus. That's easy peasy. Use the same formula which we used in case of plus sign, but now just put minus 1 here instead of plus 1, and we are done. Let us look at square root of 13 minus. Inside this, we have square root of 13 minus, square root of 13, and so on till infinity. So a here is 13. Thus we get square root of 4 times 13 plus 1 minus 1 over 2. 4 times 13 is 52, and plus 1 is 53. So the answer is square root of 53 minus 1 over 2. I am having goosebumps right now. Tell me in the comments what will be the value of this expression. Okay, now here's the bonus for you. Suppose instead of only plus or only minus, we have an alternating pattern of plus and minus sign. Like consider this example. We have square root of 4 plus inside this. We have square root of 4 minus square root of 4 plus the square root of 4 minus square root of 4 plus and so on till infinity. Then, in such a case, we can again use a simple formula, which is very much similar to the case where we had only plus or only minus. Note that if the first sign is positive, meaning if here we have a positive sign and then it alternates, in that case the formula is square root of 4a minus 3 plus 1 over 2. That's it. So in the case of only plus sign, the formula was adding plus 1 here, but in this case, it's simply subtracting 3 from here. Everything else is the same. So here, put a as 4, and we get square root of 4 times 4 minus 3 plus 1 over 2, or square root of 13 plus 1 over 2. Next, if we have a minus sign here instead of a plus, and then it is alternating, in such a case, the formula remains the same, but just put a minus 1 here instead of plus 1. And that's it. Super duper easy peasy. If this video gets 20,000 likes, then I will come up with another awesome trick which will blow away your mind. You guys are amazing. So good.